So what happens sometimes, today we got a little bit sidetracked off the old 830 farm tractor. Because today we got working on something entirely different. Just for the heck of it. But it was such a nice day. We monkeyed with this thing all day. Show you guys what we did. We're hoping that, that Kyler's son likes this stuff too and has the curse of the mechanical nightmare. That way, uh, exactly, you guys could use a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to go all the way to that positive, don't I? Yeah, maybe spin the batteries Have around. fun, guys, and good luck. Thanks, Kevin. All right, so we got the old 1150. We're going to get this thing fired up today, right, Connor? 50-50. 50-50. 11 50-50. 11-50-50, that's our odds. So this has been sitting here probably eight years, I think. I think that's probably a more accurate number. We put a different transmission in it. Whole yeah. rear end, and we just haven't gotten to it. Right. Three years ago, we had this old this motor running, and the injector pump was sticking, so we had to take the cover off and get the plungers freed up, but... Which we're still not sure about right now. Yeah, we're not sure that's going to work or not, so we'll find out. Probably the hard way. That's how we find things out. It's the best way. Best way to find something else the hard way, right, Con? Yes, sir. So I didn't realize this before, but that's got the newer engine. It's direct injection. Yeah, so this is kind of, this is really the same motor we got in that on that tractor. It's the same exact motor. Same as, yeah. so this is going to tractor if we got excited about it. This is the same manifold with the plug out. Correct. All right, so last I knew, we have to cross both connections because the starter wasn't, the solenoid wasn't this closing. Across, this one? Want me to do it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I won't do it. Woo! That sounded hot. This, I don't think this screwdriver will do it. I think it's too small. You think it'll melt? Yeah, we need a bigger screwdriver. You can have something with a handle, please. You got rubber gloves on, don't you? No. Uh, Connor found the key to the dozer. We've got spinning. Okay. We got fuel, buddy. We don't want to overstress the old girl. I don't want to run it out of fuel either. Run it out of fuel? <laughs> There's still smoke wafting out of the pipe. She's going to need a little whiff or maybe some gas. You ready? Oh, yeah. You ready to shut her down if she goes nuts? Uh, kind of. Ain't you firing, Connor? I don't know. Try a little whiff of ether, I think. Yeah. That's what we're down to. We gotta give her a little snort of ether. We hate ether, but that's a little harder to start. You know it works. Premium starter fluid? Ooh. Oh, yeah. well, well, you know what? We got all this smoke. She should run. She ran on ether now. It just needed the extra speed to do the to do the uh, to get some heat build up. You think she'll run now? I hope so. I think maybe got the throttle set too low. On these pumps, they're not a P pump. They kind of look like it, but they got a removable cover that you can. Almost like an old cat pump. Yeah. You can look into the plungers and stuff. See if the plungers are plunging. And three years ago when we did this same thing we're doing now. We were getting no plunging. We had some stuck ones. Well, that's a fun one to get to. I see you got your speed yeah. wrench out there. Oh, it's the only tool to use. We built a whole, this whole thing, we could rebuild it with that speed wrench. Little copper washers, yeah, big long those. bolts. Yeah, it'll never roll off that hood. No, no, that'd be fine. Now, so now we can see all the little plunger risers in there. I don't remember if we had it running last time with this, this cover open or not. Oh no, we had it running. Cover open and all. So, I can't tell. Well, I'll go crank her over. This is burning up these screwdrivers. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. They're all pumping, man. They're all pumping? Yes, sir. Well, that's not surprising they ain't running because it's pumping smoke out like crazy. Well, it takes a little cranking, man. It hasn't run in a long time. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a big giant, too. Don't be so impatient. Is that what yeah, you're trying to tell yeah. me? Yeah, calm down, would you? <laughs> Let's see if we can get started again. I bet it'll crank and start this time. Okay. 
Oh, here we go again. Burned up my screwdrivers. You gonna give it just a little whiff while I'm spinning it? Yeah, a little, little. Give her half throttle and a little whiff. This time I won't point it at you. You ready? Yes, sir. Possibility, right? Yeah, because the sediment bowl is, is uh, empty. Not, is not full. Ah, we're getting air. I think we're so I'm pretty sure the injectors on this, I think it's self bleeding. Oh, we ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> no, we don't have time. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> did, did you have that sediment bowl off? I'm looking at it, and we should take it off. We should get some fuel for the tank, the yeah. main tank. Take the sediment bowl off, clean the little screeny. We ought to go through that a little bit. And then I think she'll fire, because I think it's sucking air. If I'm right, I think we left the fuel on. We only dumped like a couple gallons in it last time. So odds are it's empty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go get fuel. Oh, we're gonna try running it with some VP racing fuel. What's the matter? Uh, there you go. Put your weight into it. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of sucking sounds. Strange sound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not. Let's see if the fuel's turned on. It's under here, if I remember right. Ooh, we got a we got a water bleed too, kind of. You know what? Yeah, there's a sediment bowl here full of fuel. Looks kind of funky. Funky. Hey, I see fuel. I don't know if that's water or fuel. Coming out of the out of the water trap. It's watery, I think. No, that's fuel. That's a good sign. Even though the trap's kind of plugged, but some stuff came out and it was fuel real quick. So, all right. So we're gonna try fuel first. We're gonna try to get this thing pumped up. I could crack that bleeder. I guess I'll do that. We got a vice grip here, Con? Yeah. Well, of course. I don't go anywhere without a vice grip. Or a crescent wrench, because I could crack this line right here. But I'm going to pull these out. Uh, that was not easy. Do have a license? That one turned easy. Alright, let's see what we can do. Got something? I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of gravity, are we? Primer pump here. It does. But <laughs> nothing leaks more fuel on your fingers than that. Oh, I wish I had my rubber grease monkey gloves. Oh, there's plenty of fuel coming out of the primer pump. It's oh a pretty derogatory gosh. term, grease monkey. Yeah. <laughs> that is kind of. Oh, yeah, I'm sucking air. Look at that thing. That works great. Oh, we definitely don't have. We don't have fuel up. Definitely not getting fuel up. Wow, look at that. That's why how this works. It comes from there, comes in this, then it goes back to the filters. It does. I know, it travels all the way to the injection pump for that pump, and then it travels back again. It's pretty entertaining, isn't it? It is entertaining. Well, we'll get some, we'll get some fuel pumped up here in a minute. Of course, I don't know. It's, hey. Is something off? Now you're getting fuel? Why was it off? Yeah, of course. Oh, yep, yep, I am getting fuel now. Well, it pays to turn the fuel on, you know. Oh, well, I thought it was on. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Idiots. I can't believe how much fuel is coming out of this. I know, the O-rings have got to be toast, huh? Uh, I don't know, we're going to have a gallon on the belly pan here in a minute. All right, I think I know where we're not running. Why? No fuel! Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I've been pumping this forever. I'm not getting fuel up to that filter. Yeah, it's all pumping out. Close that back up. We'll give it a whiff. See if it pumps its own self. It ain't gonna. There's no fuel at the filters. I don't think so, huh? No, I know. I know it won't. 
Got any more diesel fuel? What if we put some air in the tank? Oh man, you're gonna make me use my mouth to do it? Well, I was thinking more like the air tank compressor. Yeah, we could do that. Because it holds air. It does, apparently. Big rag, you just get some pressure on it. Apparently. I don't know. I don't think this is pumping because I think it's just mushing fuel back and forth. Of course, it was pumping. It is doing. It's not pumping a lot because that seal's gone. It's just sending it right up around the plunger. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. Yeah, I don't want to switch oh, it. I got fuel. There we go. See? I think the gravity did it. Whatever works. You sure? Yeah, you got enough gravity, it's, it's pushing the fuel. Well, look at that. All right, we got fuel there. I got fuel in my hands, too. That's a good sign. Let's fire this bad boy up. They would have fired if we turned the fuel on back there. We didn't need to buy another five gallons. But honestly, why well, don't just fill that thing? Yeah. Just have it around. I'm with you. Okay. All right. Let's see. So, I'll run the throttle. Yeah, that's the fun job. Hey, let me make sure it's in neutral. Why, are you afraid it's going to actually move? I'm kidding. <laughs> I guess stranger things have happened. <laughs> we'll see some smoke this time. Let me get set up here. Ready? Yep. It was a lot smokier. Yeah, we're getting fuel now. Yeah, we're getting fuel now. It ran on its own. Just a little bit. Why'd it quit? I don't know. Did you give it a snort again? Yeah, a little, little snort. It's going to go on its own, ain't it? It's trying hard. Yeah, but I didn't whip it. Ready? Yep. It's bleeding out. Yeah, it is. It's, it's working. We just, let's get the starter a break. Let's not kill our starter. Give the starter a break, you say, Give huh? Give the starter a break. Spray the whole damn can of ether on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Gotta be impatient. So you don't want to spray a whole can of ether at it all of a no, sudden? No, no, it's gonna do it itself. You just gotta work out the fuel through it. I wonder if the headlights work. It's bound to have a leak somewhere, right? No, it's gonna be fine. Uh, hornets! Haha! <laughs> it's a nice thing about December, uh, what is it, 16th? Yeah, you don't gotta worry about the hornets. It's a pretty big dipstick here, right? Bone dry. Well, that ain't good. Oh, there's some down, no. Yeah, there's fluid down there. Yep. Okay, so. It shouldn't wipe our pump out. Hopefully. Would probably be smart to add some. Wait a minute, if we start doing smart things, that mean we gotta do it all the time? I forbid it. <laughs> uh -uh. That ain't how we roll. Probably don't need either, right? Nope, we're open. I'm gonna avoid it. Maybe just little spritzes, but okay. Ready? Yep.
feel like maybe a dead cylinder somewhere. Let it run a little bit. <laughs> I think we want that cable. I think we need to put some diesel cleaner in it. Boy, it's right there though. Shafts are spinning. season. This would be just a ticket. She's got some smoke belching out. Well, anyway, we're going to keep working on this thing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, like and subscribe, and see you on the next one.